This Earth Day, we talked to a Filipina who's changing the way air conditioners are made for a greener world. Maria Isabel Angel Palma's air disc is a cooling system that doesn't use ozone-depleting refrigerants and needs less electricity. Angel's work also landed her on the list of outstanding young men. Let's find out more about her invention. She joins us now via Zoom. Thank you so much for joining us, Angel. What made you invent an air conditioning system that runs without an ozone depleting refrigerant? The struggles we had. Air conditioner at first. I was working on a cooking equipment for my grade 10 research project. And then during one of our test runs with that cooking equipment with the airwave oven, I found out that at the end of the copper tube, there was a cold air and it was as cold as an air conditioner. So it was then and there that I decided that I wanted to push through with um, the air conditioner mm. since chemical refrigerants, which are used for our commercial ACs now, um, uh, one kilo of said refrigerant is equivalent to 20,000 kilos of carbon dioxide. So it's very de detrimental to our health and to our environment. So uh, the environment actually is one of my main motivation on why I pushed through with air disc. And you invented this air disc when you were in grade 11 in high school. And now you're on your fourth year in mechanical engineering at De La Salle University. Share with us, how is your air disc more cost effective and how much savings for the consumer? So basically, air disc uses only 150 watts for its power consumption. So with compared to the 1,500 watts on average of the commercial ACs, it saves up to 90%. So in terms of carbon emission, actually, uh, it's as if 15 point. 15.4 million Filipinos or 68.68% of Filipino households will not use electricity for one year. So that's big. And um, air disc is only using air as a cooling medium. So it's not, it's not um, contributing to the uh, ozone depletion or not, it's also not contributing to our global warming and climate change. And does air disc get as cold as the uh, ordinary uh, air conditioning system? Yes, sir. Actually, during our um, testing for air disc, um, in an hour, from a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius, of a room temperature of 32 degrees Celsius, it went down to 16 degrees Celsius. And we had to actually still manage and control the temperature because I, also, I only wanted to um, achieve 16 degrees Celsius for the um, prototype and the entire room. And have you been able already to uh, mass produce air disc? Unfortunately, we haven't been able to because um, when we were supposed to launch on like, last 2020, na the pandemic happened. So we had to ensure first and prioritize the health of our future workers and also um, our partner who's based in Japan, our um, initial partner who's based in Japan. Um, uh, we wouldn't, I wouldn't want to negotiate via online. Mm. So we're trying to push the launching and the mass production um, up until next year. Well, looking forward to that. And uh, you have been conferred awards internationally, uh, Angel, including one from British uh, inventor and industrial designer, Sir James Dyson. Now you have the prestigious TOIM award. What does these citations mean to you? And how does this inspire you to invent new technologies? Um, for me, I feel um, very honored and very humbled to be uh, recognized as the awardee for science and technology in Toyma Sualas for winning the James Tyson Award in 2019. But uh, most importantly, it I do not think that it's... Um, all about me. It's more of who, who I represent and who I want this um, award to inspire, and that is the youth. And since we are the future of our country and also our world, I'd like to encourage mm. people, especially the young people, to take up science and technology. And actually, um, it's very heartwarming to know that um, based on a study conducted by DOST, uh, a lot of young people are actually 
thinking of taking up and uh, going through the path of science and technology, engineering and mathematics. So um, uh, ultimately, this is, is this isn't the awards aren't about me, but who I represent, and that's the youth. All right, and of course, when you start mass manufacturing, uh, Airdis, which is uh, in 2023, you would have already finished and graduated from your mechanical engineering yes. course at De La Salle University. What other inventions have you come up with uh, during this pandemic or are starting the process off? Uh, I'm currently developing the use of air disc for transpo air conditioners, mm. most especially car transpo. And since uh, we've been having a lot of um, travels outside um, our homes during most of the pandemic, because uh, I'm I'm the one I'm usually the one who my parents. Uh, assigned to go to errand so I can feel and see actually the effect of uh, using aircon during when driving so uh, right now I'm currently developing the usage of air disc for car transpo and um, future transpo also. Angel we're very proud of you and continue the great work. Air disc inventor Maria Isabel Angel Palma.